Okay, so we'll take another look at uh, something else that we can consider uh, old school or, or maybe even backyard uh, Jeet Kune Do. And this is something that most people have heard about over and over again. And it's the five methods of attack or the five ways of attack. And um, a lot of times the order in which you'll see them is a single attack, whether it's a single direct or a single angular. And I should point out that in some, uh, there was a period where single was actually not the term that was used. It was more like simple. So it was like simple direct attack or, or, or uh, simple angular attack. So simple and single, you know, they're kind of used interchangeably. So there's single attack, there's attack by combination, there's attack by drawing, then there's hand or foot immobilization attack, and then there's progressive indirect attack. So most people have seen that over and over and over again. And it's almost as if, uh, but what you've probably never heard is a breakdown of where these things go into your training in terms of basics or beginner training, uh, intermediate training, and advanced training. So we'll take a, a few minutes and just and just kind of break that down. So I'm going to ask Carlos to come in with a pair of focus mitts, and uh, and then we'll we'll just uh, we'll just train a li little bit of stuff here. So again, so if we start at the top, single direct or single angular attack. As simple as that sounds, it's probably not the easiest thing to pull off, right? Simply because you've got to be in the perfect position, uh, have the perfect timing, the perfect distance, the perfect footwork in order to be able to pull off a single attack. And then the other idea that we have to pay attention to is that, yeah, there's all this talk about attack, attack, attack in Jeet Kune Do, the five ways of attack. But as uh, Ted Lukai Lukai pointed out to me once, it's not that we're necessarily the ones who are doing all of the attacking. So for example, if I use single direct attack, but it's as a response to his jab, then that's not the easiest thing for a beginner to pull off because you have to understand the timing, you have to understand the footwork, right? You have to understand the concept of capture and flight. So that's single direct attack. Single angular attack, so for example, if he hits the one two and I go here and then I hit him with the curved hook, then that's the single angular attack because it's not delivered on the straight line. Attack by combination, just about everybody is um, is familiar with that. That could be an example of like if I kick him first, right, and then I hit one, two, and then I finish with the kick again. So again, uh, and this is where you can see an element of crossover. That four count that we just pulled off is actually something that I borrowed from Muay Thai because very early in Muay Thai you learn the different Muay Thai four counts. And so maybe it was just me, but in my Jeet Kune Do curriculum, in my Jun Fan kickboxing curriculum, I didn't have a series of four count drills. So then we looked at what Muay Thai was doing and then we developed our own bunch of uh, four count uh, Jun Fan kickboxing drills. So again, that this one is just like front kick to jab cross and then finish hook kick, right? So that would be a kick, punch, punch, kick. So I'm, we're not gonna go through the whole, the whole series right now, but I'll just break it down for you. You can do kick, punch, punch, kick. You can do kick, punch, punch, punch. You can do punch, 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 kick. And then you can do punch, punch, kick, kick, right? In, 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 uh, in later videos, we'll, we'll go through that whole curriculum for you and, and, uh, and break it down for you and, and be able to give everything to you. Right, so now we're gonna look, take a look at attack by drawing. Probably the easiest way to, to, um, to illustrate attack by drawing is to refer to it as my, and we'll, we're just gonna use that basic lead jab of his. But the reason why he is encouraged to try to hit me with the jab is because he notices that as I move around, my hand keeps dropping. So he times this drop, and that's how I get to be able to hit him. So when we move around and we time this, that's how I get to him, because I do the, the, the work of drawing him into the, uh, in, in, into the attack, and then I'm able to use my own attack by drawing. We look at um, immobilization attack. We've been doing that 
ever since. Because remember, immobilization, aka trapping, and what's the classic Jeet Kune Do definition of a trap? A trap is a movement which will momentarily pin the opponent's limb. So if you look at this in slow motion, he's been hitting that jab at me, and I have been trying to hit him at the same time that I trap his lead hand. So we've already been taking a look at um, immobilization on the upper body with the hand immobilization. Now, if you, if you take a look at what's going on on the feet, when he hits, when I move like this, so see on that one I just messed up, so I had to recover. But now if you look at it, we still got trapping going on up here, and then I'm attempting to trap him on the lower body also, right? And actually, this is something that Carlos and I talk about all the time, that when we shoot these videos, we're not gonna be doing a whole lot of like editing in the studio and what have you. If he hits at me and I mess it up, then we're just gonna keep going with the flow, like we would say in, in the Filipino Kali. So the last one is uh, progressive indirect attack. And I think that my senior, Chris Kent, is probably the guy from, from whom I've gained the most understanding about this. The term progressive covers time, uh, indirect, uh, no, I'm sorry, let me start that again. Progressive covers distance, indirect covers time, and then attack, well, is synonymous. So the one idea is this. Now, in progressive indirect, I'm gonna initiate the action. So what happens is that I feign to draw his lead hand. And then what I do is, since my intention really is to hit him on the high line, when I draw that, that's where I might come in and trap this and then hit him on the back, line, on, on the back fist line. So the idea is I feint to draw that from him and then I come up on, on the top line. So if you look at it again, we're still using immobilization attack, but immobilization attack is mixed in with progressive indirect attack. And that's another um, facet which we will delve into extensively as this series uh, of videos develops. It is the combination of the different methods of attack. Those classic uh, Jeet Kune Do fight methods, single, direct, or, or angular, attack by combination, attack by drawing, hand or foot immobilization attack, and then progressive indirect attack.